I'm lucky I'm still a loose woman, actually. <laughs> well, hi, Linda. Hello, love, all right. It's really nice to have you here. It's nice to have you too. And you An just... ex-Islington... Islington Tony. Yeah, I was just <laughs> saying that we, we, oh, I met you in a butcher's once. I won't be in a butcher's anymore because I'm vegetarian now. You're vegetarian now? Yeah, yeah. Two well, of my kids are vegan and I'm vegetarian. Oh, I can honestly say I haven't been in a butcher's since. Oh, haven't you? No. no. It wasn't you that put me off. <laughs> it's butchers in general. They, they the baffle you. The smell in there as well oh, of meat. It's like iron. I know, it's horrible, isn't yeah. it? It's really horrible. So you're a vegetarian? I'm vegetarian. When did that yeah. happen? Um, probably about 18 months ago, because both my right. kids were vegan, and then it was, I was finding it hard, and in the end I just thought, oh, I might as well just be vegetarian with but, them. Yeah. And you make so. good potatoes and you bake well as well. Well, apparently you? Nanny Brenda makes <laughs> better uh, potatoes than me. So well, there's a gentle mom. competition between us. We oh, get yeah. on really, really well. OK, so, so I'm not, it's, not, it's not like backstage at Loose Women. Then. No, it's not. No, backstage <laughs> at Loose Women is fine. I nearly yeah. got you. No, no, we all get on like a house on fire. We're all really good mates and that. It's like going to work with your mates every day. Well, just like when in... you're at school and you go to work with your school friends, you go out to loose women, you go a friend like you go with them every day. But there must be one where you see that they're in today and you go, oh, I'd rather not do it. <laughs> no, honestly, they're really? right. Honestly, I'll get on with everybody. Good. And I've known Janet since 1976, so like we're best mates. I think and Janet's brilliant. She's absolutely amazing. She lives around the corner to me. Whenever, whenever I've been on and she's on, I'm very happy. I know. She puts yeah. You at ease. She really does, doesn't she? But don't try and cuddle her. No. No cuddle, no, no touching. No. no. But the mad. thing is, what she does, and I'm thinking you might do the same, is she talks to me before and she's swearing like a trooper. Yeah. And it's like, I'm thinking, can you stop swearing? Because you're putting these words into my head just before we go live. I know. I've done it a few times live on television. I'm lucky I'm still a loose woman, actually. <laughs> well, they must like you and you must like it because you've they been do. doing it for 20 years. Yeah, over 20 years. Over 20 years. So I've been a regular since 2012, but before that we did it in um, Norwich for a while. Yeah. So I used to do it there, but we used to get picked up at like four o'clock in the morning. So it was like miserable. But now it's lovely because it's like 10 minutes up the road. But I started doing loose women by accident. Right. So I went on as a guest. <laughs> yeah. And then anytime someone was ill or couldn't, couldn't get in they used to ring me I'd be in my nightdress doing my cleaning they say can you come into Loose Women today so that's how I became a regular that's how I got into radio oh is it yeah people kept being ill and they kept saying would you do it and I yeah. did it until suddenly you're like well it's now my job it's now it gets to a point where you're wishing people were not well <laughs> <laughs> you've been doing it a long time and uh, you've said that you, you know everyone gets on we do. You go in on tour. Yeah, we are. You've done pantomime a lot. I have done a lot of pantomime. So there's actually. no point in asking me if the Loose Women Tour is going to be anything like pantomime and there's going to be a Wicked Witch and a Fairy Godmother. Well, Janet will be the Wicked Witch, well, of wouldn't course. she? <laughs> but you've played the Wicked Witch, haven't you? I have quite a few times. And the Fairy Godmother? And the Fairy Godmother, yeah. Which do you prefer playing? The Witch. The I Witch. Oh, yeah. I like well, it when they boo and everything. It's, all, <laughs> it's always better to be the person that's like making the crowd boo. It is, yeah. But on Loose Women. It's all opinion based. Yeah. Have you ever found yourself thinking, I know that the press are watching and I know they've got their pens out because they watch Loose Women they like do, hawks, yeah. don't yeah. they? Yeah. They're on us like they watch yeah. every show. Do you ever think to yourself, I better not say that because I'll be in the papers no, I'll or just do you say just it go anyway. for it? I'll just go for it. Well, that's probably well, why. They say that I'm the, I'm the one on the show that can ask anyone anything. Yeah. So like I said once that Ni- Ni- Nigel Farage was on and I said to him, why do you think you're the most hated man in the country? Yeah. And then it made the headlines every day. But I didn't do it for that. I Just because everyone was going, oh, no, Nigel Farage well, no, it's, is it's, the most you've, hated you've man. You've got someone has to ask the question. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you're the person to do it. Uh, yeah, I'm not scared of asking questions. Um, so who's your, <laughs> I was going to say, who's been your favourite and your worst guest? Oh, my God, Whoopi Goldberg was probably my favourite guest yeah. ever because she turns up without an entourage or really? anything and just joined in with everything. But we've had amazing guests But she's the like, years. she's on the equivalent in America, isn't she? Yeah, she's she just is. The view, she does the same sort of show over there. Show. But she said that we're allowed to talk about more things than they are over there. Really? We can't talk about anything religious or anything like that. So they're, they're sort of watched, whereas we've got, we're open. We can talk about most things, really. That's the thing about loose women. You do get into it, don't you? You do, yeah. It doesn't yeah. skirt around the issues. It really goes for it. No. So and I never know what I'm going to say as well, which is quite worrying. So I'll get in my ear all the time Linda Linda really <laughs> don't swear quite a lot as well and preparation I've got a bit of a potty mouth do you do homework or is it just life is no we homework? get um, we get a biog the night before so we have a look at the biog and then we get in the next day and people think we just arrive at 12.30 so we are, so we get picked up at 7 o'clock and our first meeting's at 8.30 right and then we talk about the topics we're going to talk about that day yeah. then two of us go for makeup and wardrobe and then the other two are still like looking at their biogs and then it swaps over and then they, we go makeup and wardrobe and then 
and we're very lucky because we've got really good costume like department so they get us lovely clothes and everything they get, you got your clothes there yeah yeah they've got clothes there waiting for us Sinead wants to be a loose woman and this sounds like the perfect woman, job yes yeah. I think it's the best job in the we, world so we get them we get all pampered we get moisturiser on our face I and think, makeup on our face I think I nice want to be a loose woman wear. I think I want to <laughs> be well, we do loose men there I know so you could be a loose man every time they say will you be a loose man and I say yes and I never get the call I don't know well I'll have a go when I'm in Thursday I'll say to them don't make sure you get him on as a loose man I'd love that 